Did you ever have doubts about becoming a professional athlete? I wouldn't say I necessarily had doubts. Um, I knew there would be challenges along the way, but I wouldn't say I ever doubted my uh, abilities. For the most part, like I said, I, I had, you know, I had yearly checkups with my asthma and allergy doctor a few times a year. Um, so everything was pretty well regulated. I, I didn't doubt playing, uh, you know, at that high of a level, but I knew there would be some struggles and challenges along the way, mainly uh, the traveling. Uh, like I said earlier, the the allergy part of it was really big for me. And when you're a professional athlete and you're playing baseball, you're outside on grass, you travel around a lot. You go to all different parts of the country. Uh, you're on bus rides overnight, and you might, you may wake up in uh, South Carolina and then be in Delaware the next day, and then two days later you're playing uh, back in Alabama. So you can be all over the places, and you're exposed to a lot of different pollens and grasses. And that was probably uh, the biggest struggle for me. It was hard to... Uh, really get my immune system built up and really kind of, you know, feel comfortable with, with my surroundings and the, the grasses and the pollens and the trees in the area. Um, so moving around a lot was definitely a struggle, uh, which at times I'd, I'd have flare-ups and I'd have attacks. Uh, that I'd have to use my rescue inhalers. Or, um, I, mean, I still even carried a nebulizer with me that time. I used one when I was, when I was younger. Uh, I didn't have to use it very often as I got older and as I was a professional athlete, but I always had it with me. I was always traveling uh, in my hotel room, so... It's never too far away from me in case I didn't need it. Yeah, it's funny. Um, Brad Schlegek of the Boston Ballet we also interviewed, and he, he mentioned similar things with, with them touring all the time, just always being in a different environment. Yeah, exactly. Even, even still, it affects me some. Uh, this past weekend, our East Tennessee State team, I coached for, we played uh, in Florida, uh, down in Southern Florida, in Fort Myers, and just the grass down there was different. I've kind of been fighting all week. Uh, luckily, my asthma hasn't flared up too bad. I did use my rescue inhaler a few times, um, but yeah, just traveling around can be it can be difficult. That's probably the hardest part. When you're in one place for for a long time, uh, or you don't really travel much, you kind of forget what it's like when you go get exposed to new you know new pollens and new grasses and new trees all over the country.